Vita Train for Life, and I'm talking today about stretching, which is super boring, but also super important. Um, it's part of our Wednesday roundup, roundup, and um, basically I do all my stretching at night, usually in front of the television. Um, I stretch right away as soon as I'm done with a run or a bike, um, not a swim so much, uh, and then I save like the really kind of big stretching for the evening so I don't have to rush it um, and it just relaxes me and I can do it while I'm watching television which is why I'm in my living room because this is where the magic happens and by magic I mean super embarrassing stretches. Um, why is stretching so weird? Uh, so yeah I start off usually by doing the frog stretch because if you're like me and most runners are your hips are just massively tight and really no matter how much stretching I do does not you know compensate for all the running and all the biking I mean I spend a lot of my time basically like this either running or biking and then my hips are like what so I do start off in this frog position yeah so then you're supposed to lean back kind of get down on all on your forearms and then lean back into it but because my hips are super tight I don't get so far back in my lean. So it's about right here, and then I just hold it there, and it seems like this shouldn't be that big of a deal, but my hips are actually screaming right now. It's awful. So make sure your feet are turned out, and that your uh, knees are as wide as you can get them, and then just sit back into it, gently hold for as long as you can kind of bear it, and then release that stretch a little bit. So. I spend quite a few minutes just going back and forth trying to release those hips. Another thing I do for the hip flexor is because that's where a lot of, you know, I just tweaked my back recently and part of that is because my hip flexors are so tight. I have some issues with hamstrings, usually just on my left side, my piriformis, all that stuff. It's all related. So if you're not strong, um, you know, in the, down your chain, then your back is going to give out or you know, something else is going to give. So you really need to try to loosen up as much as possible, even though it's extremely difficult. Trust me, I know. Sometimes the very last thing I want to do at night is start stretching, but I know that it really, really helps for me. Um, the other thing I use is we just got this from Tiger Tail, and it's kind of just like a teeny tiny rock hard little BOSU. Um, but what I'll do is put it right in that hip area and just lay on it. And that is a lot less pressure, I think, than like rolling it on my foam roller. So if I just stay here and kind of like move around and get some of those pressure points, that really works. It also works to kind of just sit on it. I was saying my piriformis, I'm having some issues with that on the left side right now. So if I kind of just sit there and then I can just kick back. And if I'm watching The Walking Dead, it'll be like this because oh my god but other than that you just sit there and you're actually stretching look at me i'm multitasking while watching television um tiger tail also makes this wonderful little roller and you can just use it you know to roll out some rough spots um right now the left hammy has been giving me some trouble so i'll just sit there and use some pressure roll it out um you can also you know do your normal stretches that you would do with um, hamstrings, sit up nice and tall, try to reach for those toes. Oh, oh, yeah, that's about it right here. And then of course, I have this foam roller that's uh, really um, come in handy in the last couple of years. My husband and I both use it all the time. And one of the things that you may not use the roller for as a runner, which I find is very helpful, is to roll out your back. And I usually get a tremendous amount of cracking going on. So I put my hands behind my head and just roll it out oh, a few times. And it really helps to just kind of loosen everything up back there. And plus it feels good. It's like a little mini massage. Um, and of course, I use the roller on my T-band, hamstring, calves. That's a great way to sit. You're kind of actually getting some upper body work roll out those calves so those are the main uh, exercises that I do and I definitely take time each and every night usually not on the weekends you know because I'm having wine um, but I usually take time to do that and it really really helps it's all those little things that we can do especially as you get older to help your body help itself so hope that was helpful if not oh well see you next time